The eruption of Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island that began on Sunday, September 10th, continues. All lava is currently confined to the summit caldera in the crater and on the downdrop block to the east, within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The U.S. Geological Survey on Monday lowered the volcano alert level from warning to watch because the style of eruption and fissure locations have stabilized. Also, the extremely high effusion rates that were observed when the eruption started have since declined and no infrastructure is threatened. Kilauea's aviation color code was also lowered from red to orange because there is currently no threat of significant volcanic ash emission into the atmosphere outside of the hazardous closed area within the national park. Multiple minor fountains remain active in the eastern portion of the crater floor. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the line of vents stretches just under a mile or 1.4 kilometers onto the east wall of the downdrop block. The live USGS webcam missed the exact start of the eruption. But on Monday, scientists uploaded two views from other webcams that caught the moment. At first, the main lava fountain was measured at approximately 50 meters or 160 feet high. Since then, fountain heights have decreased to about 10 to 15 meters or 32 to 50 feet. Volcanic gas emissions were also elevated at the start of the eruption, with sulfur dioxide rates of up to 100,000 tons per day. Emission rates already appear to be lower, but the Volcano Observatory has not confirmed additional measurements as of Monday morning. During an overflight, geologists touched down in a safe location on the same down drop block that was formed during the 2018 summit collapse. From there, the scientists, wearing protective equipment, were able to collect a molten sample of newly erupted material. They say the sample will provide information on magma storage and transport before it was erupted onto the surface as lava. Access to this hazardous area is by permission from and in coordination with the National Park Service. The observatory will continue to track the changes in the eruption as it continues and will provide updates to the public.